on behalf of Dongaroo and our Sig Frito, as uh, I'd like to um, give an overview of where we've, what we've achieved in the last 12 months on this project. Now, most of you have heard about drones, I suppose, and um, watched, watched maybe some of the media over the, uh, with a bit of interest. And what we've been able to do with this work is basically bring together some technologies that have sort of all come together basically in the last five years. Batteries have got smaller, cameras have got smaller, UAVs have got bigger and, and, uh, more, and more, more affordable. And, and um, what we're trying to, to achieve here is, is to combine all those technologies on a platform where we can sense crop stress, crop water stress in particular. There's a list here of uh, the people involved and as I said, from two organisations, both the department and the university. So there's a couple of different faculties and uh, a whole, whole list of students and collaborators and partners there. Um, <coughs> and basically, the main theme is that efficient irrigation um, is needed to, to optimise and uh, maximise crop yield through quality. So any stress, any water stress that occurs reduces vegetative growth, can reduce fruit size and impact quality. It controlled stress, particularly in wine grapes for example, can improve fruit quality and, and, and also change the wine attributes. So is it positive? It's difficult to measure water stress. Um, some plant-based, uh, some soil-based uh, options exist here where you monitor soil water content in, in the field. And, and try and do a water balance or, or water, water, um, water content of the of soil but, and, and try to relate that to the plant and plant growth and production. It's not an easy thing. And that's where we think this technology in the future holds promise. We can uh, integrate the technologies, measure the stress in a, in a rapid um, uh, turnaround time accurately and, and, uh, and cover large areas, e.g. fields or farms. So thermography is basically temperature, measuring temperature. We, we uh, looked at a couple of uh, orchards and vineyards over the, over the year. This is an example of a peach and nectarine orchard here at Tatura on, on site. Last February, prior, like summer before, we uh, measured, it's about a, one hectare, a bit under one hectare orchard, we measured uh, um, we flew the UAV basically and, and measured and mapped water stress. And to do that, we, we correlated our data and our imagery data with plant-based traditional measures as the crop physiologies, physiologists undertake. So we measured stem water potential. And we were able to relate and correlate, have derived some really good relationships between the ground-based plant measures of stress and what the thermal camera on the UAV was showing us. So, and, and, the, and what we derive is a thing called crop water stress index. It, it's um, from zero to one, and, and um, a, 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 low, a low value of crop water stress is, 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 is unstressed, a high value is stressed. And, and basically, yeah, we, what we, a thing called stem water potential is, is basically the international standard to measure crop stress. It's basically a measure of, of the, uh, water potential of the leaves. So a high, higher pressure is required to extract um, the sap out of the leaves. So, so we've had some really good relationships and, and, and measured, the, you know, uh, basically the two, the, the, the key indicators of stress. And remotely, we could then map, map the field. So what we've got here is uh, about 150 metres of row length of peach and nectarine trees under vertical leader systems and tatura trellis systems, planting systems, high density orchard, micro irrigated. And we came along a, a, a couple of days prior to the flight, the UAV flight, and we, I turned the tap off basically on the, on the sections of these trees. And we can see where we've applied the water deficit on the central leader system and on the tutura trellis system, we're getting a higher level of stress detected 
in the imagery and also in the ground-based data. So the technology works. Again, we, there's a similar study done this summer in the vineyard over, over in South Australia. And that's just another example of where we've measured uh, stress derived from the UAV versus plant-based, ground-based measures and, coral, and a good correlation. So in summary, the technology was used to detect water stress in both orchards and vineyards. We, we've demonstrated that, that, it, that it works well with high accuracy. There's been a number of publications presented by the team um, at, at conferences in, 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 in Australia and overseas. There's some manuscripts being submitted. And yeah, it, there's uh, opportunities for uh, further work, obviously. There's opportunities for biosecurity, detection of pest and disease stress with this, this technology. And there's some uh, image, some photos of some of the team and, and some of the field work we did over the last summer. Um, this, we've got you know photosynthesis synthetic synthesis meters. We have a whole range of technologies that we, we use to um, uh, leaf leaf conductance, etc., to to compare our imagery data with our um, traditional plant-based measures of stress. Thank you.